Welcome to FIRE's educational video series. The objective of this video is to talk about some of the key ways in which one could analyze the significance of support and resistance breaks. Over the last few videos, we have covered several vital aspects relating to support and resistance. These include what support and resistance are, how to identify them, the three primary forms in which they appear, the timeframes on which they can be identified, the ways and tools that one can use to identify them, and finally, the polarity principle. The only major thing that remains to be discussed are the ways in which one could analyze the significance of support and resistance penetration. We shall do that over the course of this video. Before starting, keep in mind that a support or a resistance need not necessarily appear at identical levels. As we saw in our earlier videos, a support or a resistance could appear in the form of a zone as well. As we know by now, whenever a support or resistance is tested, it could either hold or break. As the price approaches a support or resistance, there is no way in telling whether that support or resistance will hold or break. Hence, one needs to patiently wait and monitor how the price behaves near a support or a resistance area. If the price reverses from the vicinity of the support or resistance, it indicates that the support or resistance has held. However, if a support or resistance is broken, then how does one assess the validity of that break? Well, when a support or resistance is broken first, at hindsight, it is difficult to say whether that break is genuine or fake. That said, there are filters that can be used to confirm the validity of the break. Let us talk about this. But before that, let us first talk about what constitutes a false break and what constitutes a genuine break. Look at this line chart. After holding twice, notice that the support broke the third time it was tested. However, observe that after briefly breaking this support, price moved back above the broken support and continued heading higher. This was the case of a false support break wherein the selling pressure never really materialized once the support broke. Now, look at this line chart. Again, after holding twice, notice that the support broke the third time it was tested. This time, however, see that the sellers remained strong, causing the price to continue heading lower post the support break. This was the case of a genuine support break. Let us now talk about some of the most widely used filters to validate support or resistance breaks. Before proceeding, keep in mind that these filters do not guarantee that the support or resistance break is genuine. Instead, as with all other technical tools and parameters, these filters just increase the probability that the break of support or resistance could be genuine. As such, even if one or a combination of these filters are applied, one still needs to have proper risk management tools in place. With that said, here are some of the key filters you could use when deciding the validity of a support or a resistance break. The closing price filter, the closing price plus the high-low filter, the percent filter, and the volume filter. Let us now talk about each of these filters. Often, you will come across a support breaking or a resistance breaking intra-candle, that is, during the time the candle is still forming and is not yet complete. But then, whoops, by the time the candle completes, the price would have reversed its course and closed in the opposite direction of the support break or the resistance break. In other words, the price would have closed above the support level or below the resistance level 
thereby invalidating the break. This is a very common occurrence and is a classic example of a false break. For instance, have a look at this chart here. See that the price broke above the resistance or the prior high. But see that the closing of the candle was below the resistance level. Notice how this breakout of resistance turned out to be a false one. How to reduce the probability of such false breaks? One way is to use the closing price filter. In such a case, one would wait for the price to close above the resistance or to close below the support before deciding to act at the open of the following candle. The advantage of using the closing price filter is that it eliminates false intra-candle breaks. However, the disadvantage is that one could miss out on a part of the move in case the price closes way above the resistance or way below the support. This chart shows an instance of a genuine resistance break. Here, see that we have a resistance zone rather than a resistance level as the two prior highs occurred at slightly differing levels. Notice that the price closed above the resistance zone, increasing the probability of a successful resistance breakout. Here, we have applied the concept on the daily chart. But keep in mind that this concept is equally applicable on other timeframes as well, be it intraday timeframe, weekly timeframe, monthly time frame, etc. One could also modify and set up custom entry filters based on the closing price of the security depending on personal trading and risk management style. Let me talk about one of these custom closing price filters. Sometimes it just so happens that the price closes below the support or above the resistance for just one candle and then there is no follow through activity on the immediately following candle. To understand this, look at this chart here. We have two separate instances wherein the price closed above the resistance. However, on both the occasions, notice that there was no follow through up move and the price instead moved lower. One custom closing price filter that I prefer using is to buy above the high of the candle which broke and closed above the resistance level or the resistance zone. In the case of this chart here, see that the green candle closed above the resistance level. The idea is to buy once the price subsequently crosses above the high of this breakout candle. In this example, See that the high was crossed on the immediately following candle. Similarly, sell below the low of the candle which broke and closed underneath the support level or the support zone. In the case of this chart, see that the red candle closed below the support level. The idea is to sell once the price subsequently moves below the low of this breakdown candle. In this example, see that the low was crossed two candles later. The advantage of using this filter is that it reduces the probability of a false one candle closing above resistance or below support. However, the disadvantage is that by the time the price crosses above the high or the low of the breakout candle, one could miss out on a part of the move. In this chart, notice that the price just managed to close below the prior support or low as you call it. One way to act here is to sell below the low of this breakdown candle. In this case, notice that the price fell below the low of the breakdown candle on the immediately following candle. Another way to validate the support or resistance break is to use the percent filter. Sometimes, following a support breakdown or a resistance breakout, price tends to move sharply in the direction of the break and on the same candle. If you wait for the candle to close before deciding to act, you could end up missing a big part of the move. 
As an example, look at this daily time frame chart here. After the resistance broke, the price rallied almost 3.5% on the same candle. In such cases, waiting for the candle to complete and then buying on the opening of the following candle would have caused the trader to miss a certain part of the move. In such cases, where the move tends to be fast and sharp, one could deploy the percent price filter. What happens under the percent price filter is that once a support or resistance level breaks, one could select a certain percent of his or her choice and then act once the price crosses that percent threshold from the break level. Let us understand this using an example. Let us select the 1% price filter. If a resistance level breaks and price rises more than 1% from that breakout level on the same candle, a trader can buy the security right away rather than wait for the candle to close. Similarly, if a support level breaks and price falls more than 1% from the breakdown level on the same candle, a trader can sell the security immediately rather than wait for the candle to close. The question that now arises is what percent to choose? Well, there is no definite answer to this and it varies from one trader to another. That said, one general guideline that you could keep in mind is that the larger the time frame, the larger must be the percent that is chosen. For instance, for a 5 minute chart, you could choose something like the 0.20 or the 0.25% filter. For the daily time frame chart, you could choose something like the 1% or the 2% filter. For the monthly time frame chart, you could choose something like the 5% or the 10% filter and so on. Continuing with our earlier example, using the 1% price filter, one way you could have traded this resistance breakout would be to buy once the price rose more than 1% from the breakout level on the same candle. This is arguably one of the most important filters for the simple fact that volume is independent of price and talks about the force behind the price move. Volume is plotted in a separate panel, usually below the price. Volume is such a critical aspect of technical analysis that we will dedicate a few videos later only for talking about volume. For now, we will just focus on one aspect of volume. Whenever the price breaks a support or a resistance, the break is considered strong if there is an expansion in volume. On the other hand, if a support or resistance break is accompanied by below average volume, the validity of that break is questionable. An advantage of using the volume filter is that it can be easily combined with each of the other filters that we have discussed in this video. For instance, you could combine the volume filter with the close filter, the percent filter, etc. to validate a break. Furthermore, Depending on trading style and preferences, one could even act immediately if a support break or a resistance break is accompanied by an expansion in volume. Notice this chart here. See that the support breakdown is accompanied by a strong expansion in volume, indicating there was a great deal of selling pressure during this breakdown candle. Such a break that is accompanied by an expansion in volume increases the probability that the break is genuine. Notice here that both the resistance breakouts were accompanied by a marked expansion in volume, indicating at strong buying interest and thereby increasing the validity of the break. In this chart, there are two support breakdowns. The first is the smaller support breakdown. In this case, notice that the breakdown was accompanied by an increasing volume, indicating greater selling pressure. On the other hand, the second is the larger support breakdown. But in this case, observe that the breakdown was accompanied by below average volumes, 
indicating that the selling pressure is not so strong or that it might be fading. Notice how well the first breakdown worked while the second turned out to be false. Often, volume can give subtle clues about the validity of a support or a resistance break. Lastly, before concluding our discussion in this video, let us iterate that the filters we discussed in this video are not infallible. To understand this, look at this chart here. Notice that the price broke and closed above the former resistance, meeting the criteria of the closing price filter. The price then crossed above the high of the breakout candle meeting the criteria of the custom closing price filter. Lastly, the breakout candle was also accompanied by a strong expansion in volume, meeting the criteria of the volume filter. See that despite the conditions of various filters being met, the breakout turned out to be false and the price fell in the subsequent candles. This chart highlights an important point. Even when price and volume filters are applied to validate a break, the break could still end up as false on a few occasions. This is unavoidable. Hence, even when the right filters are used to validate a support or resistance break, one must always give utmost importance to risk management. One must know when to accept that the trade has turned sour and at what level to close out open positions if the price does not behave or move as expected. After all, entry is just one half of the story. Timely exit, which is the other half, is equally important. Well, that was all that we wanted to talk about in this video. If you liked our video, do not forget to click on the like button below. Also, hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel and the bell icon to receive regular updates from our site. Last but not the least, we have a dedicated space for School of Stocks related discussions on FIRES community. We encourage you to interact with us on our School of Stocks community page by visiting the link shared below. Thank you for watching this video.